What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be going over some new Superman and Lois set photos. But before we get started, make sure that you guys like, share, subscribe, turn on notifications, and comment down below any other video ideas for me. Also, make sure to check out Canada Graph's blog. He's got some awesome content over there. Link is in the description. So yeah guys, I'm just going to read to you guys what Canada Graphs had to say about these photos. So he starts out by saying, In this scene, Tyler Hecklin dressed in his Superman outfit, lands on a spot and walks down the alley before stopping and eventually leaning down towards the ground. Whether it's to look at or pick up something, or if there is supposed to be someone there in this scene, I don't know. During my time there, there did not seem to be another actor in the scene. Next, he says, they then moved on to filming a driving scene with three security slash armed vehicles going down the street. The way they had the vehicles drive, it was impossible to get all three of them in one shot, so I just focused on the big armed truck, but there was two cars that looked similar to Vancouver undercover cop cars flanking both sides of it. The front one kept driving off while the truck stopped right at the top of the alley, while the other one stopped a, far, a fair bit behind it. Then they drove off, not sure who they are looking for, but it was clear they were searching for someone. He then says the night scene had a yet unknown bad guy who was dressed like he was one of the many homeless that populate the park when film crews aren't using it. He roamed back and forth in front of the side of the monument they were at while Superman was down on the ground feeling the impact of whatever was in the gun the man was waving around. The bad guy shot him a couple times sending Superman tumbling backwards as he tried to get up off the ground. Eventually, Superman found himself leaning up against the cenotaph before letting out a desperate thunderclap, and that was the end of the scene when I was there. Okay, so this gun that was apparently shot at Superman, I don't know of any normal bullet that can impenetrate Superman, so I'm thinking there must have been kryptonite involved somehow. Um, just comment below what you guys think about that, but I definitely think that this villain that, that he's talking about must have kryptonite somehow. Or maybe it was just a gun that was able to just like knock Superman down like a laser gun or something along the lines of that. Um, now this villain that fired this gun definitely seems like a weekly villain. Now he could very well be the main villain, but he mostly definitely seems like a weekly villain. Um, so yeah, we're just going to have to see what happens when the episode comes out. Another villain that I thought might be the main villain was this new version of Lex Luthor that was supposedly casted, um, but I definitely think that he could be the main villain, if not of season one, of definitely season two or three, um, because you can't make a Superman show without making a Lex Luthor or a version of Lex Luthor the villain. But yeah, I'd say that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to comment your thoughts on these photos down below, as well as Canada Graph's link is down there. Make sure you guys go check out his blog. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.